power of visualization. So, um, there was a point in my life where I, I was serving as a bodyguard to somebody. And um, he told me to resume here for like uh, 6 a.m. And I had to go out. Unfortunately for me, I came here at 5.30, waited for him. He didn't wake up until like 8.30. And I was still sitting. So when, and at this time, I now thought about it. I said, okay, fine. Uh, because I've been calling his room severally, severally, he didn't answer. Next thing, he now called and said, okay, um, I should go and eat. So I came down to the restaurant. So I walked from the lobby down to the restaurant. And I went there. And when I got to the restaurant, I looked at the restaurant and I was scared. Why was I scared? I saw foreigners. I noticed that there was a glass that was like the door separating me and them. So in my mind, that glass door, I could see them, but I did not believe that I was supposed to do that. So I looked at it and the door did not open. I did not know that I should take a closer walk to the door. So I had, I had my mind, I imagine that these people were spending hundreds of thousands of naira to eat breakfast. So with that mindset, I walked back to the to the lobby and I sat down there. In my mind, I was telling myself I didn't need to eat this kind of food. <laughs> and I looked at it and I said, why? When I remember, I remember that I only ate moi moi and gari the day before. And here I had choices. So in my mind, because I couldn't see me eating that, so I did not have the, the drive or the faith to go and do that. So I now stayed there and I saw the man come down dressed ready to go for paper. He asked me, why didn't I go and eat? And he, and I, and I told him that um, I did not know whether he said I should wait for him to go and eat or I should go and eat. I was giving excuses for my decision. A lot of people don't succeed because they confuse themselves with their limitations. They look for an excuse to fail. They look for an excuse for themselves why they shouldn't succeed. So we now went into the restaurant and I took just a piece of yam and sauce and I went back. So he asked me, why didn't I take more? I said, I'm not very hungry. He now went, he got good food. He took the soup and bread, came back, to eat, took vegetables, you know, and he took his, I took fruits and said, I ate it. Then he went back and all this while he was watching me whether I was going to go back. And he asked me that, why don't I want to eat? I told him I didn't want to spend his money too much. He dropped his food and he taught me a lesson in my life. And what was that lesson? He said, King, let me tell you something. The problem is not this place, so it's not better. The problem is you. That's what he told me. And said that whether you know it or not, the same amount I am paying is what you will pay. Whether I eat one piece of yam or 30 pieces of yam, it's the same cost. Yes. I went back. <laughs> no, I ate everything. Um, bread, bring. <laughs> Tea, bring. Fruit, oh bring. Salad, bring. <laughs> Fish, bring. Right there. I have to eat. <laughs> it may be funny, but is it possible that maybe we are doing early. that we are limited because of ourselves and not knowing that the cost of buying a private jet and the cost of buying a 504 is actually the same thing. Just your mind. Stop limiting yourself. I was begging that the man should invite me the next day. Let's repeat it because I would have been there early. I would have started eating from 6.30 till 10 o'clock. It's the same price. So stop limiting yourself. Learn to train your mind. You train your mind with more. If you if you live in a flat 
uh, visit people who live in duplexes. Yes. It's a waste of time dealing and relating with your mate. It's a waste of time. All you are doing is just fraternization. Yes. So you are losing time. But if you move with people that are lower than you, you are losing steam because they suck out of you. If you move with people higher than you, you will learn. A lot of times when you move with them, they stretch you because of the kind of things they do. Maybe they want to go somewhere, they want you to join them because they now begin to draw you into their own. What will happen is that you become the last in their category, but you will improve. Let me give you this takeaway, you see? Put yourself on 12 months. And uh, what would you like to achieve at 12 months? Okay, so he told me to um, give myself a 12 month target from this day, 15th of November 2018 to 15th of November 2019. And um, what I would like to achieve financially. And I gave myself um, a 10 million naira target, right? And then he said, told Remember me. Remember, you said five or ten. I million. said between five to ten million, actually. And he chose ten. And he chose the upper. Upper <laughs> said ten million, and he said multiplied by two, which is twenty million. And he said he would tell me to multiply that by ten, and that would be my target. That is two hundred freaking million there. And now I'm supposed to come up with a plan to make 200 million naira within one year. But I have a 10 million naira flow in my head. Help me. Help. Help me. And that is the power of visualization. Open your eyes and allow your imaginations to fly. Thank you for watching this video. It's short, but remember. If you are not a member, please subscribe to this page and click the notification button. It will help you and you will learn more. Have a fantastic day. See you soon.